This video will cover the topic, graphing a line given its equation in standard form. Linear equations in standard form are written as ax plus by equals c. I've only seen slope-intercept form, which I remember is y equals mx plus b. Linear equations can be written in various ways. In fact, our first step to graphing a line given its equation in standard form is to solve the equation for y. When we do this, we'll get a linear equation in slope-intercept form. I think that makes sense, but can we do an example problem? Definitely. Let's look at the line negative 3x plus y equals 3. First, we solve the equation for y. To do this, we add 3x to both sides. This leaves us with y equals 3x plus 3. Next, we can choose some x values and evaluate y equals 3x plus 3 for each. This will allow us to plot a few points. Let's find the y values when our x values equal 0, 1, and 2. If we plug 0 into our equation, we get y equals 3 times 0 plus 3, which equals 3. If we plug x equals 1 into our equation, we get that y equals 6. And if we plug x equals 2 into our equation, we get that y equals 9. This tells us that the ordered pairs 0, 3, 1, 6, and 2, 9 are solutions to the original equation and that these points lie on the line negative 3x plus y equals 3. We can now plot these points on a coordinate plane and use them to graph our line. Remember that two points are enough to graph the line, but by plotting three or more points, we can check our work. Why don't you try the next example? Graph the line 4x plus y equals 8. We want to solve the equation for y, so we'll first subtract 4x from both sides. This leaves us with y equals negative 4x plus 8. Then we choose some x values and evaluate the equation for each. If we use x equals 0, 1, and 2, we can substitute those x values into y equals negative 4x plus 8, and we get three points that are on the line. Now we can plot the points 0, 8, 1, 4, and 2, 0 on the coordinate plane, and draw the graph. Great work! So to summarize, when graphing a line given its equation in standard form, we first solve the equation for y. Next, we evaluate the equation for various values of x to determine a few ordered pairs that lie on the graph. Then, using these points, we can graph our line. That sounds great. It seems like you're getting the hang of this topic. 